Hello art students, for your next project we're going to focus on a specific famous artist and use their artwork to inspire our own. The artist we're going to study is Pablo Picasso, you may have heard his name before, and our learning objective is that we're going to examine specific types of art from different time periods and discuss how art has evolved over time. So um, Pablo Picasso was an artist in the late um, 20th century, so things have changed a little bit since then. Um, you're going to watch a video that shows the progression of his style, and then you're going to add something to the, the discussion board about what you learned from that video. You're going to have a short cubism activity drawing, um, and then we're actually going to start on the main project for this lesson, which is a Picasso portrait artwork, and you can see student examples here. I have this video that I found on YouTube for you to watch um, to complete this activity. It's pretty good. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on in the video, so you might have to pause it a lot. I apologize for that in advance, but it's the best one I've found to make this um, project. Then you're going to complete your artist statement, and at the very end, you're going to read a little bit about Picasso and answer some questions. You're going to need a blank piece of paper, a pencil, eraser, and some markers. Okay, so subject matter is the main topic or subject presented in the work, so for this it's going to be a portrait. Now, with portraits, it's really easy to show mood, which is basically the um, suggestive feeling or emotion you see when you look at the artwork. What does it make you feel like? Traditional media is art materials that are traditionally used by artists, so typical things you would see an artist using. Um, geometric means that it's shapes that have typically straight sides or lines to make them, and those are the shapes that you usually see in geometry. The reason we're talking about geometric shapes is because those are the shapes that pretty much make up all of cubism art. Um, so cubism is an early 20th century style and movement art, which was used mostly in painting, um, where there's more than one perspective. So you see, you're seeing things from more than one viewpoint, and you're also seeing mainly geometric shapes. You're not seeing a lot of curvy shapes. Okay, so when we're analyzing art, we want to make sure we are making sure we pay attention to the visual component. So that can be the elements of art that's being used, the principles of design, what the subject matter is, maybe if there's a certain mood. We also want to consider what the art form actually is. If it's a painting, a drawing, that's going to affect the way we look at it, or the mediums being used. Um, so you can see this image here just by the colors and the way they're using the elements of art you already get a mood from it because so, the blue and the dark colors makes it seem kind of sad so picasso was a spanish artist and he lived from 1881 to 1973. Um, he is known for his use of color, his cubism style, and collage works. And you can see a little bit of how his artwork has changed over time, which you'll see more of that in the progression video. You also can see that he spent a lot of time drawing faces in a really weird way. And you can kind of see more than one viewpoint that we were talking about in cubism earlier. It looks like you can see the face from straight on on this side, but it looks like you're seeing it if the face was turned the other way from this side. So these are two portraits he did, and it shows how he's slowly starting to use more geometric shapes. All right, guys, so you have a little bit of an idea of what we're going to be doing for this project, make sure you complete all the assignments and watch that step-by-step -step video when you um, work on your project. It'll help you a lot. 